What's up everybody, I'm Harry Collins, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to track a subject when you create a Instagram reel, YouTube short, whatever you wanna call it, as it moves across the screen. So I shot this video originally in a horizontal format, and I'm gonna want this into a vertical format uh, for Instagram, YouTube, whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna auto reframe the sequence here by right clicking on the uh, video and I want to make sure that it says vertical and basically you can see now it looks more like a mobile oriented vertical screen. But the problem with this is as the owl flies across, as you can see, the face leaves the right side of the frame, which is no good. Um, so when you do auto reframe sequence, the uh, software is going to do its best to try to track the subject for you, but it doesn't always work. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to override that and I'm going to engage my position and scale, toggle them on. And what that's going to do is create keyframes. Now, anything that I do from here on out is going to create another keyframe. So right at the beginning, what we want to do is we want to center the owl on the frame that creates a keyframe right at the beginning. And then as the owl flies, th this is pretty simple. All we're going to do is hover over the position, and if you click and drag that in, you could just move the owl back into the screen. Now, as you can see, it's creating more keyframes. So basically, I told it at this keyframe of the video, I want the owl to be in this position, and it's going to move on its own in between the keyframes to keep it at that point. So from here on out, all we're going to do is just go all the way through the video, and we're just going to keep them in the frame. And, you know, it's, it's not perfect. I'm doing this pretty fast if I was doing this you know, on my own for a reel, I would really take the time, make sure that all these movements are smooth, maybe add a lot more of these. The more keyframes you do, the smoother it's going to look. If you have big gaps between them, you might see a little bit more movement in the frame. Um, but for the sake of this video, just to keep it real short, this is what we're going to do. So, um, so now when I go back and play it from the beginning, you'll see instead of the face of the owl leaving the frame, it's going to stay in there. So... Pretty simple, this was just a quick, pretty fast video, but that's the high overview basically of how you track a subject manually in an in a Instagram reel or a YouTube short, again, whatever you wanna call it. Thanks for watching.